coming to Federal University of Agriculture at Bekuta. And today we are looking at information source, and my name is Isku Balamosi. We'll start by going through the objective, and I have a question here. Is why do you need information? Research has shown that good information is relevant for a purpose, and every student requires information for various activities like studying, research, problem solving, and entertainment. If you agree with me that knowledge gives power, or knowledge is power, the further question is what is information? And looking at the pictorial picture that I have here, you see that we all know that the definition for data and the, the kind of data that you have what will give you the kind of information. And information has a value in decision making and create an intelligent human response. So which means that information what gives clarity. And in this lesson, we look at the concept and the need for information in its various forms. We look at the books, whether it's books, journal, newsletter, database, reports, and so on. So this form of information are valuable resource for you as a student. Sourcing is an act of questioning a piece of evidence. Like if you look at looking at it, that information sourcing is what before you go through any information, you first do what you ask yourself this set of question: Who wrote this? Like at the beginning of lecture, I say, I said what I actually give you my name, which means that you actually know what get familiar to who is right now, who is what, who is related with you, who is giving you that kind of information. And what is the author's perspective? And basically for this training, the perspective is what? Is to give you an ICT orientation. Then to further take it further is why, when and where is it written? Like you know that this kind of training is being what? Is being held virtually and it's not in a written form so it's what riding on the existing technology or riding on the internet for you to what have access to and the further question is is it reliable why and why not so i leave that question to you is virtual learning reliable and at the end of this class i want you to know your opinion whether you are in support of virtual learning if you are in support you give me your reasons and and if you are against it you state your reason below and let's have this kind of conversation now we'll, we'll go to characteristics of information and you're all familiar with the word gigo which stands for garbage in garbage out so looking at these attributes together we know that from your data the kind of data that you have and the level of accuracy of your data or correctness of your data will do what will give you an understanding or the kind of information that you are going to get and from the kind of information that you get is going to lead to what understand a particular pattern which is what which is knowledge and on the, in putting this together we know that from data you process if you process a data you give you an information and if you now pattern or if you relate a, a different level of information together which was it gives you a knowledge or you derive knowledge from the particular information that is at your disposal and to look at the characteristics of this information information can be classified on the basis of what the first one that I put here is the source. It can be either electronic, it can be physical, it can be print, in whatever form that it is. The sources, the source of information is what? Is either electronic or print as it relates to what? As it relates to students. Now, the second one that we want to look at it together is the nature. Now, the kind of information that you want to access or that is being released, is it confidential or is it for public? Basically, we label confidential as what as something that is private. You and I know that if you say something is confidential or something is private, so which means that it's not for what it's not for public consumption. And the the next one that I want to talk about is the level, and we we'll look at it like the access right, which means that the level that I want to look at it that is is the person that is authorized or do you have access, or like you have the right password. Like for example, now you and I know that you have your own. Uh, email account which is an institutional account now the access right is what the password that you are going to use go enter into the system that is going to authenticate so the level of the rights that you have will determine the level of what what you are going to have access to now the next point that i want to highlight here is 
the time. Time is very crucial, very important in, in when you are accessing information. So the date of release is what is also key in classifying the information. Now the next one that I want to talk about is the frequency, the rate of release. Like for example, now you you are in a class, you have a timetable which has actually been what being rate of release. Like for example, now is your lectures as academic uh, begins, you are going to do what? Having your lectures at a particular point in time and which will have been spread across a particular weeks or a particular modules or a particular point in time. Now, the next one I want to talk about is the use. Now, for you and I know that if you are accessing an information, is it a fair use? Do you have the audacity to actually do what? To use those information minimally. Now, the next one that, I, that, that, that what we'll go to is the form. Like, in what form is this information? Are you accessing this information? Is it in text? Is it in, an, in a graphical image? Or is it a video? Or is it an audio? And so on and so on. And then the last one is the type. Now, the type here is being, what, being classified whether it is what it is a business or it is academic or it is for entertainment. Now, to summarize this module, this information or this form of information should be what should be timely, should be accurate. Whatever form of information that you're accessing, it has a basic principle of what the timeliness, the accuracy, the complete, the reliable, and then for the right set of people to make use of. Now, so coming up next, we are going to look at the academic search engine and some search, we are going to do some search operators is more or less like an hands-on or a live classes which you and i will do what we we'll do some little practicals together using the advanced operation to accurately drill down to the information that you need thank you see you in the next video